Welcome back to Rough Builds. I'm Jordan, and we're going to continue in the office. So, as you may have seen in the last episode, we're now mostly painted. Everything still needs about one more coat yet, but that's fine because there's going to be touch ups, so that will become now at a later stage. So, now I am 100% in my comfort zone because we're doing electrics. Finally. So, what we're going to do in this episode? Well, we're definitely going to get the contributor fitted. Uh, get temporary fed, get all the data points in, the sockets in, the switches in, um, the main down lights we're already fitted on temporary, get the heater fitted, thermostat, all that kind of stuff done. Um, be nice if I could find a few minutes to get down the workshop and build some wall lights, but we'll see. Maybe? I might get a bit creative for that and probably get a bit carried away. Oh well. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up and um, I'm gonna go around. Get all these um, dry lining boxes fitted around the place. Um, as we only need some touch ups on some of the paint, to be fair, it's only really this grey wall I think actually needs a real paint. The other ones here have dried out now and they're not too bad. Maybe. I've still got some of this paint. And I've still got some black in that, so I might be able to mix up another coat of grey. But then again, I do need some white to touch up some issues. We'll try and sand it off one or the other. We'll see. I'm not worried about the paint. Let's crack on and get electrics mostly there. And then we'll worry about the paint afterwards because I hate the paint part. But I love the electrics. So let's go. Second fix time. So our boxes are all fitted. I've laid out all the accessories around where I need to fit them to. So sockets, data points, <clears throat> um, got me a draw wire to go through for the fuse board just when I put in the mains cable and got all the four gang switch built up, ready to go. So we've got three dimmers and a dummy dimmer. So we're not going to go into too much detail on how to connect it up but I'll second fix most of this and then show you guys what's what. majority of the sockets on, data points on, they were a pain in the ass. Um, use the click sockets, switches are a bit clunky, but overall good quality. Um, my preference is Hager Solicitor, um, but I used an online, online wholesaler and I got these and they didn't have them so I just got the click ones because they're right. Did use a BG data point, no didn't want to, but it was less than half the price. So, and when I started buying all this stuff, everything was all mounting up very quick cost wise for all sorts. So. Yeah, I started saving a bit of money where I could do. Um, last socket out here to screw back in now. So not bad quality to be honest. Um, always leave the CPC a bit longer and double over. Good practice. Um, so just got the light switch and firm set to do in a minute. And the contribute unit. Plus then we've got, I forgot, got to cut out the external socket out here in a minute. Um, and I've got some other more hidden points to put in. Some sockets and such for the internet, uh, CCTV and all that stuff. So I've got to finish with that up as well before I can energize it. Heater points in so I can put the heater on later on. CCTV so uh, monitor sockets up there, done. Making progress. We'll definitely get it all energized today. So yeah, I'll let's go get some food and then I'll crack on again. So progress has been made. Outside sockets are on. CCTV sockets are on. All the sockets in here that are currently needed are on. Uh, three gang dimmer and dummy dimmer on. Thermostat's on, although I did make a bit of a mistake. I forgot this thermostat's a 3 amp thermostat, so we're gonna have to use it along. I've got a 25 amp relay, we can use that alongside, which will be more than ample. I think it's a 2 kilowatt heater. So that's a bit of a whoopsie. It's not a 16 amp one. Oh well, it's not a problem. <sighs> Dug out this light as a temporary light. So these are the um LED buttons I'm going to be using for outside the office here and in the storeroom. Um, just nice Anzel ones. I right know, what are they? 4000k. <sighs> Switchable between 30 and 47 watt. So, yeah, they're pretty decent actually, to be honest. I quite like them. 
So that's handy to know. It's always nice to try different products and talk and try on products. I've never yet touched fuse board. Uh, fuse board? Fuse box. Um, and I think it's not something uh, I'll say this have really stocked before. And I got this online the other day and I know people raved about them for various years. So I thought, pretty off this, why not? I'll buy one, see what it's like. And um, initial impressions, this thing's actually really sturdy. This thing's probably twice as heavy as all the other brands. Um, but it seems tidy, sturdy, pretty well made. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But initial impressions seem good. Uh, other than the sticker pack, they come with a bit of shit. It comes folded up, which is even more shit. But then again, I have no intention of using these in the future, and I don't like them anyway, so that doesn't bother me too much. And the little compact RCBOs are MCB size, so it's excellent. Um, and again, they seem quite well made. So. What I'll do is I'll get this one fitted. We've got a 32 amp RCBO um, for our ring final circuit, so our sockets. We've got a 16 foot heater, 16 foot of water heater, and a 6 of lighting. That's all we need in here. Nice and simple. Um, these are B curve on the overcurrent protective, which is just normal, especially for this kind of application. And they are type A RCDs, so they don't, so DC leakage um, from power supplies, computers, and such won't affect our operation so that's what the current regs are basically stating now so i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna have a go with this fuse box and um get it fitted and we'll see if it's any good And there we have it. That was easy. So overall, even the bus bar cover these is really sturdy. So definitely quite impressed. Yep, sorry YouTube Sparks. I did use two cable ties. Shh. Um, and it does turn out I'm gonna need one more blank when I ordered, unless there's still one in the box kicking around. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll check it out. Um, I might have just, to be honest, assumed like 12 way plus SPD makes it 11 way. Um, yeah, or oh, sorry, 10 way. Got a bit, I don't know, I got a bit wrong either way, but could do one more blank, I think, although there's one fitted to the cover of standard, so I don't know. We'll see. But done, dressed in, ready to go. Bar the fact, obviously, the supply is still missing. Um, so for now, the supply, in it, pups, is going to be like everything else. There we go. We'll put the office on a plug top just so we got some bits working in here. Um, it's, oh, whoops. Actually, no, I might have to upgrade that. It's like 0.75 mil flex or 0.5 mil. And I probably want to plug a heater in, so yeah, we'll, we'll change that. We'll actually do it properly, <laughs> ish. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, actually these fuse boards really sturdy, and actually they're priced really competitively as well. So I think I'll be using these now on my business venture. Um, I'll see what they compare to like Hager prices and whatnot, but they do seem really nice. Definitely happy with that. Um, that's good. In the pups, is that kids? Yeah. You want to play ball, don't you? You play ball all afternoon, like mental. Typical. So I'm going to quickly get some cable in that in a minute, and then we'll see if actually things work. So, power's on with that. Perfect. So we now got switches. Yep. So, as I was saying before, first switch does the outer four. So we've got just the corners here. Doesn't do it justice on camera, but looks really sweet. And then we've got the middle six. So, yeah, we can do what we want, as you want in there. And then that's the wall lights, and that's the potential sign light. Firm as that, ideal. So we've got a bit of heater up. But next up, let's put the screen up. So I just dug through what parts I had, because again, I'm just trying to recycle mostly what I had. It's one of our computer monitors. Uh, I've been living in the workshop for about six months, so it's not the best, but pop a stand off that. I did have at least three of the power supplies fail. Well, I think it turns out the fourth one failed as well. So we've got to use this one for the time being, but I will get another proper one, one that's compliant. 
And I jumped on Amazon and I bought myself this little tiny tilt and swivel bracket. So that should work perfect. So I've got to find a timber up there now, get all this bracket fitted to the these amount on a monitor, plug it in, I guess plug something in at the other end and maybe see if it works. Be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Can't remember where we got to yesterday, I need a GoPro run out of battery, but um, got switches, got a thermostat. So now we've got heating as well, which <clears throat> I had to get a bit creative with. <laughs> um, but you see, it's got a control panel, but that's all broken, hence I got the heater for three ages ago. So, free Dimplex heater, old thermostat I had, perfect. That's good, so that cost me. Well, the price of like the switch you spur really and whatnot, and a bit of cable. No, cable is free as well from a mate. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> the price of an RCBO, pretty much, on my time. Um, screen's up as well, although I do need to extend it outwards a bit because the viewing angle on this monitor is awful. Um, but no, yeah, also the uh, night vision on these cameras, really freaking good. Very impressed so far. So I just put one camera up just to test, just to see if it works really. And it does, so I'm happy with that. But that's now gonna, until another week odd, if I can find some time, I'll get my apprentice to wire in all the um, data cables for the cameras. And we'll have to start putting the internet wiring in, getting all the uh, Starlink set up, up here instead. But yeah, making progress. So the electrics in the office are almost done. Um, I don't really want to think about the paint, I hate that. Obviously I've got to put the supply in, but I've got no materials yet for the finish this one off. So, also if you guys want to see me test this out, and I'll show you how I actually test the installation, do a certificate, I can do. Um, I'm not too worried, I do it day in, day out. <laughs> um, oh, so what next then, what are we going to get done now? Well, I reckon, as I'm kind of bored of just working inside the office, Providing I've got the materials, why don't we sort out these two lights? Now, they're gonna to have to be something with a base that sits on the wall because I need somewhere to put the connections because you can't just stuff connections back in the wall. Well, you can do, but you gotta put them in proper little connectors. Um, and again, that means I need a base that would cover that size hole. So I'm gonna need a base no matter what. <laughs> um, so either way we can fit it, but we need some kind of base to fix it on the wall. Now I know there's timber behind them because obviously we put timber in and wired it. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I reckon I'm going to go dig from a parts pile. I know I have enough parts down in the workshop. Hiding up there I have loads of lamp parts. Well, hopefully what I need. And up there I have loads of lamps. Long story, but at the start of COVID, I actually stockpiled tons of... Um, I bought loads... I spent like 600 quid on parts to make lamps. Knowing that I had engines and gearboxes I wanted to strip to make some more lamps. So I stripped them and I made about 30... 20, no, yeah, so, so, but yeah, but I think... 30 items in total, with like lamps, ceiling lights and all that. Sold a couple, but I've mostly hoarded and kept them up there. So I got like a lot of lamps sitting up there made out of car parts, which some will go in the office. I should really sell them, but I like them a lot. And then over here, I've still got multiple engines and gearboxes to strip, loads of them there to make lamps. And under here, I've got an unreal amount of valves, pistons, crankshaft, camshaft, jack shafts. Oh, so many bits and bobs to make lamps. Um, I've got enough parts to make probably at least like another 40 different lamps, bar the electrical side of things, because that costs a lot of money. So I reckon we can make some wall lights. So here's what I've decided on. Um, we've got some 108 mil VW drive shaft cups. These are basically useless because they don't break. Um, but when you do a 20 valve turbo conversion and you use a six speed box or a later five speed box, they have 108 mil cups, which are no good. So you swap them out for the 100 mil cups. So, always have them. <laughs> Got some pistons. I don't know what these ones are off. Um, 
I've got so many pistons on the fair, but I just found two matching ones that seem to be the right sort of size. Um, can't even see any stamps on them. Well, that says something, but they could either be ST170, they could be 1.8 uh, Mark II Golf engine, uh, they could be Mercedes OM606. Don't think something too small for that. Um, or all sorts. But either way, we got them. Got a dry shred cup, so I'm thinking simple. Um, I don't want to be too big either in there, so because they're not like a main feature. So the idea is just to weld the piston to the top. Um, cable will sit obviously in the back of there. Perfect, that's what we want. Loads of fixing holes, perfect. And then essentially, like I've done my other lights you guys wouldn't have seen, 10mm all thread goes through the piston, lamp holder sits on top, bolts through there, and then um, braided flex out into base. So really simple. There we go. Simple little wall light, re-greased because obviously if I don't grease them then they're going to rust. Perfect. Ish, maybe. We've only got these lamps to go on them, uh, which are just some standard like uh, bulb shape ones, nothing fancy. So I might get some nicer ones but let's try getting fitted. So, where do we last? Ah, that's it. I just put them lights. I didn't. I've done, I've tidied and all sorts since. But, there we go. I've got happy, to be honest. Um, they're simple. Uh, nothing too fancy about them. But, yeah, they work. They're tidy. They've been greased, so they should be, well, uh, had that WD put on them, so it shouldn't like corrode badly anymore at all, providing it doesn't get that damp in here. It's got just little filament lamps on them, so yeah, might change the LEDs, might not to honest, they're only for decorative purposes. So I dim down to just being like nothing basically. Can you even see that? Oh yeah, just. I wouldn't mind trying it at night. But I don't think they're massively illuminate the place. Not like the main ones. But it's looking good. So yeah, and I adjusted the TV screen. So now we've got a better view and angle. So now it's like spot on, which is good. Well, it's certainly looking good. So unfortunately, I think our last recorded last Sunday, now Friday again, no progress has been made. Um, because I've been so busy at work all week uh, and just spent all my time ordering stuff for jobs, doing jobs and starting to stock out and get out the office and stores so with no end of ordering like this is the most expensive time I've ever had in my life <laughs> it's costing a fortune uh, but I'm trying to do it properly hence why I'm going to be effort and expense of all this and just all sorts really loads of tools, loads and I've already had loads <laughs> But the amount you need to run a business and have staff and all that is, yeah, quite a lot. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Um, I think Roger's due down tonight or tomorrow. And then we're on to the fun stuff again. So that floor, that needs to go down. Because um, then we can get the second fix carpentry in. Uh, we can finish off the painting, get the wood down, and then we can start moving furniture in. So this time next week, this place should be, it should be a functional office. It won't be a finished office, but it'll be a functional office. And then I can move on to things like the storeroom work because I've now started ordering a lot of stock. Because I live in Cornwall, wholesalers are about, let's just say a half an hour drive away. I can't be going to wholesalers often because that eats time into your day 
profits, all that, and it's just not convenient one bit. So I need to stock a lot of my day-to-day -day materials and emergency stuff in the van and in the stores. So I'm having to order a lot of stock to do that. But hence why I built a big storeroom to hold it all in. So what's on, darling? You wanna play ball, don't you? You wanna play ball? You're not camera shy, are you? Um, so yeah, there's all that to do. Um, if I get a chance this coming week, I don't think we are actually, because I'm already really booked up, or what I want to be. We're gonna make a start on the CCTV. But that's not gonna matter to you guys, because it's mostly me and my apprentice doing it, and obviously I'm not gonna be filming the CCTV installation, because that would be silly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm tired again, I've had a long week, and I've gotta go spend hours and hours on the computer again, sorting jobs out and stuff, so. Good fun, I'm loving this though, this is great fun. Really enjoying it. So yeah, if you've enjoyed me rambling on this episode, um, and you haven't seen the previous episodes, then there's three previous episodes of me rambling. I think three or four now? I don't know. This might be, I don't know. Um, there's obviously going to be plenty more because we're not finished yet. Um, and I promise as soon as things are settled down and things are I'm organised, I'll be back on Capri because I am dying to get that sorted. Um, but obviously this has had to take a priority because this is my livelihood. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Comment, tell me what you think. Track any ideas in if you want to. Um, obviously subscribe for more. Like the video because it really helps the video. And with any luck, I'll see you again next time. Cheers.